What's up guys, so this is the Anchor Solix C2000 Gen 2 portable power station. It's basically an upgraded version or a new version of their F2000 portable power station and it's got some really cool features so I want to give you guys kind of a breakdown. This is going to be a little bit of a quicker video but I want to give you a breakdown of some of the features that it has in case you're thinking about getting it. So before we go over the outlets and everything, I just want to say this is a 2048 watt battery capacity portable power station and so it's in that range where it's going to be able to power you know, pretty much you know 99% of the appliances in your house. You can power your refrigerator for a long time, make even power, you know, a smaller AC unit. And so this thing can do a lot. And for how small it is, it's actually pretty insane. Just to give you guys kind of an idea, this is the C1000 Gen 2 that they recently came out with. And it's not even that much bigger than that, which is actually pretty crazy how this has 1000 watts more battery capacity. And I feel like honestly, it is pretty similar to the size of a lot of 1000 watt power stations out there, but you have a 2000 watt power station, which is pretty crazy. And that's something that I'm really impressed with with this power station is just how small and portable it is. But going over here, as you can see, we do have five AC outlets and then you actually do have an RV plug, which is a really cool inclusion that I think they made also in this power station is that you can actually plug your RV directly into this, or you could plug, you know, your dryer into this because of that port, which is super nice to have. And these outlets can output a continuous output of 2,400 watts, and then it could surge up to 4,000 watts, which once again is just amazing for how small this is, you know, for the output that it can actually have. That's going to be enough power to power multiple items at the same time, you know, items over 1,000 watts, which is pretty much, which is a lot of like the electric cookers and things like that if you would need for camping. But then it also has that surge power where, you know, devices where you need that extra kick at the beginning, you know, like refrigerators or compressors and things like that, you're going to be able to have that surge power to be able to get up to those higher amounts and even enough power to run, you know, most of the AC units in your RV and, you know, individual AC, you know, room units as well, you know, depending on, you know, which ones they are and how much power they use, you know, which is pretty awesome. But then moving along above that, you also do get a nice screen and then you get three USB-Cs, which is super nice. You get a USB as well. I do like that they included those three USB-Cs just because everything's pretty much USB-C now and it is nice to be able to fast charge your devices. Two of those USB-Cs are 140 watt output USB-Cs. One of them's 15 watts and then the other USB-A is 12 watts. And then you do get this nice modern looking screen, which is nice. If you click the power button, you can adjust different settings where you can see all the USB-Cs and the, and the AC outputs as well, which is also a nice feature they have. And then you also do have the 12 volt car charger as well over here as well. But then going on the side over here, we have our different charging ports. So you have your AC charging port and then you have a solar charging port. And something that's really nice about this power station is how fast it charges. Anchor's doing a really good job at that. I think this actually won a Guinness World Record, or at least the 1000 Gen 2 did. I think this one did too. You can get up to 1800 watts of AC input, which can charge it up to zero to 100% in about 88 minutes. So an hour, 20 minutes or so, which is super nice. And then you do have a solar input of 800 watts. So you can charge it in about three hours with just solar. I will say though, it only has one port. And so, you know, if you have two solar panels, you need to get an adapter. So that way you can plug the adapter in and then you can plug in two solar panels, which it would have been nice if they would have included two ports for solar. Um, but you know, with the adapter, it's fine. You can just plug in, you know, two, 300 watt panels or, or whatever you have, if you have two panels, but there are a bunch of different ways you can charge this up, which is nice. You can charge it up with a generator as well and get 1800 Watts of input, or you can actually plug in solar panels and you can plug it in the wall and then you get up to 2600 instead of the 1800 Watts of input. And you can actually charge this thing up in less than an hour in about 58 minutes, which is super fast for a 2000 watt power station to be able to charge it in an hour. That's pretty awesome. So that is a really cool feature that this has. And I feel like anchor always does a really good job at, at charging. But then going over here to the other side, one really cool thing about this power station as well is that it actually is expandable also. So you can actually expand this from the 2048 watts all the way up to basically four kilowatts or 4,096 watts. And so you can double the capacity with this port right here. And when you get that extra battery, that's just gonna unlock a whole lot more possibilities just because you, you can pretty much back up your entire house with that. Um, you know, depending on what you're running, you could definitely run an AC unit and you can just run a lot more with that 4,000 watts of you know battery capacity when you add that power, that extra battery. And so that is also a really cool feature that this has is, you know, you can have this as more of a portable option for camping with just the, you know, the C1000, the C2000 Gen 2, or you can add that extra battery and essentially make it like a full home backup. And going along with just how portable it is, um, up here, as you can see, you do have two handles on the top and this is really easy to take around with you. It only weighs about 42 pounds. And so it is pretty light where one person can carry it. And because you have those two handles, you know, it makes it really easy to carry. And that's just super nice for a 2000 watt power station to be that light and small. That's what I really think 
you know, is the best feature about this power station, just how small and compact it is for the power that you get, which is honestly pretty insane. And when you do compare it to some of the other 2000 watt power stations out there, I mean, this one is, is insanely small and compact. And I just want to show you guys, I'm going to do some more tests later on and actually test the, you know, full output here. But I wanted to show you guys, you know, if you click this button, you turn on the AC power. And right now I'm just going to plug in this panini maker, which uses about a thousand watts or like 1200 watts. But I'll plug it in right here. And you guys can you guys can see the screen and everything how it adjusts. So as you can see, you know immediately when I plug it in, the red light turned on. That means it's on and it's heating up. And going over here to the screen, you'll see that it's using about let's see here, 1,217 watts continuously. So no problem at all. You know it has 24 watts of continuous, so it can definitely handle a lot more than that. But I just wanted to show you guys, you know everything updates on the screen, so it shows you how much time you have to power those devices. Um, as you can see, it's about 0.4 hours when it's at 26% battery. And then over here, you can also see, you know, all the different outputs. And right now it's showing 12, 1205, then the other outputs, output zero. But if you plug other things in there, it'll, it'll update that as well. And so, yeah, super nice. You know, it's, it's, it can power pretty powerful things. I mean, this using a thousand watts continuous is pretty nice. And since it has, you know, 2000 watts of, of uh, battery capacity or over 2000 watts, you know, it can run this for a pretty long time. And it can run like 99% of the items in your house, like I said. And Anchor actually claims that this can power your refrigerator for about 32 hours, um, which is pretty amazing for how small this power station is. You know, if you did have a power outage, that is going to be really nice to have, you know, for 32 hours. And then if you get that add-on battery, you know, to make it 4,000 watts of battery capacity, um, then you can actually run a refrigerator for about 64 hours. So that's pretty awesome as well. Obviously, that's going to depend on your type of fridge, how efficient it is. You know, that might vary a little bit depending on your refrigerator. Um, but still, that is pretty amazing. You know, if you did have a power outage or weather issues and you had, you know, blackouts for a long time, this is definitely something that would be nice to have, especially because you can recharge it with solar panels as well. And then here you can see again, just this compared to the C1000 Gen 2 that recently came out. It's pretty crazy how small it is. I feel like it's actually a little bit shorter, um, but it's wider than the C1000 Gen 2. And, and for having, you know, twice the battery capacity, it's pretty crazy how small it is. And it's just pretty awesome that you have a hybrid between, you know, being super portable still, but then also having, you know, a lot of power, being able to plug your RV into this, um, you know, when you need it. Now I'm going to be making another video here pretty soon where I'm going to go, you know, more in depth on this power station and run some more tests so you guys can see, but just overall my thoughts on this power station, I think it is pretty crazy. You know, just, I've already said this, you know, in this video multiple times, but how small this thing is, it's pretty insane for the battery capacity of over 2000 Watts and being able to have that continuous 2400 Watts of output and surge up to 4,000 is just really nice as well because you're going to be able to power just a lot of different things with this. My only one kind of complaint or downside so far of this power station is actually just the solar input. I do wish that instead of 800 Watts of solar input, it was at least a, a thousand just because there are some 1000 watt power stations out there that have, you know, a thousand watts of solar input. And so, you know, it's not too bad having 800 watts of input. You can still charge in about three hours, but if it did have a thousand or more, it would be nice because you could charge it faster, you know, on the go, especially because it is a little bit bigger. It's, you know, 2000 watts of battery capacity. Um, and so that's my only complaint. I wish it was a little bit more solar input, but you know, 800 watts is definitely still enough. You know, three hours is not that long. But yeah, overall, if you guys are looking for a power station that is super portable, but it also is powerful, definitely recommend checking this out. It's pretty amazing how small and portable it is at 2000 watts.